lots of old man Way over and in Dundee Lord, I told a man Way over in Dundee You go down to Kid Lester's store He got everything that you need James Kid Laster operated a mercantile store in the town of Eaton, Tennessee for almost 40 years. This was a place of my childhood, a place that I used to go get free candy. Someone told me that they were planning to tear the old store down now that Mr. Laster decided he no longer wanted to run it. So loading up my musical partner, Keith Carter, we decided to record an album and a documentary about Mr. James Kid Laster's store and how much it meant to the community. He told us a lot of stories about his experiences running this store, and we took away with it an album and an understanding of the importance of the old mercantile store. Front there, you know, Miss TC give it to me. 
Yeah, well, the good thing it is, we're not cold. We're not cold. <laughs> yes, sir. I stayed over here. You can see you were all one day, sun to sun. And that's going to happen to get some cold. And they went up there with the seven cold. I stayed all day. One day I got thrown to death. I was coming home. Him and boys were young. And they threw up this whole cold for me, you know. One of them cold days, it didn't have no, didn't have no lights in them. Was in the doors, you know. But I wasn't no, I don't know, I had old cotton sack that sold up there. Started back home and run out of gas. <laughs> I don't know, four or five miles from down there. Well, I like to never got a hold of them boys. And I had a tank of gas, but he didn't know how to turn it on. That guy, they, they had to get me out and walk me down the road. They told us, I'm, Done froze, man. It didn't look like there wasn't no glass in there. Yeah. No sack in there. Anyway, I really took that thing down. I made another error. I just been froze to death. Now, you ask them boys about me. <laughs> they could out there and walk me two hours before I, you know, what I meant. I catch, you know. I said, last I don't worry. Cool, man. Kiss nothing. Well, I said, I'm better. <laughs> I said, Bill. We finally got hold of them boys. Says, all you got to do is turn on that thing on the bottom of it. We finally got him. It was half a day before we even did it. Oh, me. They go here you know, somewhere digging a pond or somewhere, you know, they had those dogs, you know. Yeah. And they, they hollered and told us, boy, I forgot to move drive. One of them boys there was. Listen, I done got stiff, man. I done got scared. I'd stay, just sitting there waiting. Them. They didn't have the whole thing wouldn't run because they said they had a lot of gas. Full tank now. If I, if I wanted sights, hmm. What do you think the funniest thing ever happened up here was? <laughs> when it had a tournament, I guess. We had a tournament up here two or three times. Car tournament? Yeah, car tournament. That's right. The man, Eugene Freeman, Eugene Green up here, went to the side of Jackson, got some little trophies. But see, about like that? Uh -huh. I bought them. Well, four. Six. See, I gave away top second. Runners up, you know, like playing ball, right. right up there in that thing right there. Now, you told, I still got that paper down the house. If I can ever find that, if you look what a crowd in this thing. I know, yeah. About what year was that? <laughs> I don't know. It's about that joker that time. Uh, what, in the late 70s? Yeah, I expect it was. That you were there. Well, we had lots of terms here, but we I didn't have no like them things up there. So you know, I had I believe I get away two years. Them things up there, and everybody was one. There's one out. What? There's some table up here and all down in there. These here playing cards, boy. One day was trying to cheat. Boy, they wouldn't cheat. They wouldn't let you. <laughs> <laughs> we had three tables. Going. One, two. But the way people was another. Well, it all went close to the stove, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I guess it was. But I kept a good far all the time. Boy. Yeah, you did. Had goats over here. We eat goats here, too. You used to have a stew every once in a while. Yes, sir. Once twice a week, Mike called him. Took an old big pot out of here? Yes, sir. But up further south, where that fan is. Jimmy Wallace and... Oh, gosh, I don't know. Snow Turner. Adam was the cook. Who? Adam. Adam, Adam McGee. McGee. Yeah, yeah. McGee yeah. boy. McGee. Who was it egg the McGee boys at that time? Egg at Halloween? Well, that's going down the bluff, wasn't it? I think so. <laughs> Somebody egg them. He said, who was that guy throw that egg? <laughs> Gosh, we done everything around here, I guess. I wasn't in that egg, egg business, I don't think. <laughs> no, good. I miss that old boy. You didn't have any big politicians come through here, hey? No, sir. I like it. Hadn't had no governors or nothing like that? No, sir. I had nothing like that. Well, Tanner's come down here once or twice. Well, that's about one. I bet Mr. Ed Jones came over here. Yeah, yeah Mr. Jones come over here, yeah. Mr. Ed comes a lot. Yeah, he knew everybody's, he, he knew everybody's uh, wife and kids and what cows belonged to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He helped with kids. He was worth the whole Oh, yeah, that man done that thing. The last needed help was call me. Yep. And he meant it, too. Yes, sir, he meant That's it. Right. Yes, sir. He tickled that, looked like I had it. I don't know how come he talked that, but you know, he did
one time, I don't know if you remember this or not, it was about 65, maybe 66. It was uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, I guess, and Mom decided she was going to make asparagus casserole. Of course, I wasn't real familiar with asparagus yeah. anyway, and she sent me, said, go up there and see the kids got a can of asparagus. So I came up here, and we looked all over that wall over there, kid. You looked, and I looked, and when we couldn't find it, you said, uh, well, I don't see any asparagus. You think she want any other kind of meat? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to go ask her. <laughs> so I don't know if you ever got any of that. Well, you might have looked in the cool box there somewhere. I don't I know. Have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been some guards come through here, hasn't it? Some oh, people. gosh, yeah. You kid. I'm going to find one of them pictures. I got them down at the house somewhere, and that, that paper, I know I got them. Just let you read that paper. Somebody, come over here like that thing right there. That's all of it. Oh, God, yeah, this looks so fun. Uh -huh. Several times, too. Yeah. We, I was at ball game at night, and I forgot about this. I think about this. Mr. Mel in Crockett County had two nice goats. Adam said, last them. Go get them both. It was Friday night there. We need them all. We need them both. I said, okay, Al, whatever you said. I goes over there then and gets $50 for them two goats. Right over there. The man it did now, they. And uh, I brought them things that we under dark. That man still barbecue. Oh, the fellow runs that case fit over there. His daddy done all the barbecue in there. So he, of course, he helped his daddy. Can beans like it that, you know. Dark. It rubbed. We rubbed. okay. So we rubbed. It was R and J. R and J. Yeah, he he, he sold out. Yeah, oh, he, he did. sold out. Well, he he done my barbecue now for I don't know, several years. That cost me up to fifty seventy five dollars. Hundred. When I got them goats and brought them back here, it's a ball game by night. You know how many I had to eat with me? Eighteen. That didn't even turn on the legs off from. <laughs> Oh, Adam McGee said, last, I put the same, the small thing up here in the refrigerator right up here, and we ate it later. Well, we did that one night. We didn't eat them goats that night. Next night, I lost about $150 that night on them goats. There wasn't nobody here, you know. I said, that's all right. I'll get it back maybe next night. Next time, but I'll, I don't guess I'll get it back. They did it. After that, you know, they tore that goat. I, one of them been plenty. Adam, he, you know Adam Gee. Sure, I know Adam. What was his brother's name? Floyd. Floyd. Oh, Earl. Floyd. Oh, they were the old bastards, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Floyd said he had a while ago. He, he's a, he goes out to Central State while you use out there, you come tell us. 